morning. Welcome to my plastic surgery vlog. I cannot believe that this day is actually here. It is about 6 a.m. I couldn't sleep last night. I've been up since about 2.30, so it's gonna be a really long day. Luckily, once we get there, we have nothing to do but go to bed early to be ready for the procedure in the morning, but I'm already tired. I've had a protein coffee this morning. I'm about to go ahead and have some of my overnight oats that I prepped in meal prep for breakfast. I just finished packing, got everything put into my suitcase. I was originally going to take my small suitcase, but it was packed, over full. I probably overpacked, to be honest, but I wanted to make sure that I packed all comfortable clothes, zip front jackets and sweatshirts because I'm not going to be able to pull anything over my head. I packed some leggings, some shorts, lots of pajamas, slippers, everything that was recommended to pack. I also packed some protein shakes so I can hopefully have my protein coffee in the morning, lots of snacks. I feel really good about where, I feel really good about how organized I am and that I am fully packed and ready to go. I just can't believe this day is here. I feel like I've been waiting for this day for so long, even though it's only been, well, I guess several months, I just feel like everything is coming full circle. After all of my hard work, losing the weight, I feel like I'm finally getting the last piece of the puzzle, if that makes sense. My heart is actually really full and I'm very, very excited for this adventure. I'm really excited to take you guys along with me through the entire process. The good, the bad, the ugly. You're going to meet my friend Amy, who's also having plastic surgery with me. It's going to be an educational video. If you're interested in plastic surgery, thinking about it out of the country, this is going to be the vlog for you. So I can't wait to get to the airport and start this adventure. It's easy to speak out about the way I live, but it's a 24 karat dream. Supermodel in my dirty jeans, but in my 24 inches heels. I am not pretending, I'm born like this, a game for the reckless. It's so extreme, and I don't really care. I don't really care, yeah. And I don't really care, I don't really care, yeah. They're calling me a mad woman, mad woman, mad woman, calling me a mad woman, mad woman. I made it to the San Diego airport. Of course, I got a coffee the minute that I got off the plane. Well, actually, after I went to the bathroom. My friend Amy's flight gets in in about 20 minutes, so I am gonna head to baggage claim, get my suitcase and meet her, and then our friend Henry is coming to pick us up to take us to lunch. So I figured this will tide me over. So I found a little bar type of situation that I'm gonna sit at and wait for Amy for about the next 20 minutes or so, sip on my coffee. Boy, this is a busy, busy airport and it is not very nice today. It's only in the 60s and I came from the 90s, but I'm really excited to see Amy. And then once we have lunch, what happens with the hospital in Tijuana is they actually pick you up at the San Diego airport and they take you over the border and directly to either the hotel or the hospital, wherever you're going. So you never actually have to drive yourself in Tijuana, which is really nice. They do all the transportation and it's all included in the price. So once we go to lunch, then they'll pick us up, take us to the hospital directly. <laughs> Unless you want to be in my video. Do you want to be in my video? <laughs> That's my friend, Amy. That's my friend, Amy. Hey. We're here. Oh. I've already had that in my head. You don't have to do that. Oh, yeah, I do that. Oh, yeah, that's true. We're at the hospital. Just filled out all our paperwork. Amy's filling out her paperwork. And then we're going to see the doctor. There we are, the top of the list. We have NAs next to us though, so I don't know what that means. Oh, sweet and location. So we're in our room. We're actually sharing a room. So our room has double beds. We just put on our cute uh, hospital attire. We had to take a shower to wash our body, at least get all of the airport gunk and stuff off of our body. We have to fast now until about 5 p.m. from when we ate lunch so that they can do our blood work. We're supposed to have our consultation with the doctor today and then they are bringing us some dinner and we just get to relax in the hospital for tonight. Hopefully get a good night's sleep before going into surgery tomorrow but I just had to share 
I mean, we're pretty stylish here. All right, we are marked up and ready for surgery first thing tomorrow morning. We are so hungry. We just came back to our room and we have food. So it looks like we have, ooh, that looks amazing, a chicken salad, some juice. We have some fruit, maybe some soup, some jello. Oh, I'm so, we are so, so, so hungry. So my surgery is tomorrow morning at 8 a.m., which is crazy. And then my friend Amy goes in directly after me. We are marked up. We are super excited. He was lovely. The doctor, great bedside manner, really excited for tomorrow. I just want to wake up and see the results of all of this hard work. So we're hoping to get a good night's sleep tonight so that we're ready to go for a kind of crazy, intense day of surgery tomorrow. Good morning, it is surgery day today. It is Wednesday at about 4.30 in the morning. They're coming in here in about a half of an hour to get our IV started. I'm heading to surgery first this morning. Amy's heading to surgery right after me. I actually am really happy that the day is here, but surprised that the day is actually here. It looks like all of the markers and everything stayed on last night, which is great. I slept okay. I'll say this bed right here, not the most comfortable bed in the world. And then I was hot and I was cold and then tossing and turning, you know, just anticipation and thinking about today and what's going to happen. I know that each of our surgeries is about three to four hours. So hopefully I am coherent enough to update you guys a little bit later. I'm already hungry and I'm already thirsty because we can't have any food or any water. And honestly, I just want it over with. If you know what I mean, like I just want the surgery over with and the recovery to start. And I know today's gonna be a really long day. And like I said, I'll do my best to hop on and update you. It's just really truly gonna depend on how I'm feeling. They did take our blood work, like I mentioned yesterday, and my iron is still a little bit low. So they wanna do an iron transfusion after my surgery because of you know loss of blood and things during the surgery. So hopefully it goes nice and smooth and I recover and I get a nice, good, solid nap in this morning. Is it in? Oh no, this is hers. Oh yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> So we just kicked Jen out. She is off right now in La La Land getting her new boobies. I'm so excited for her. Um, it's been a great trip so far. If you're gonna have plastic surgery, find your bestie and have it together. We have had so much fun between getting IVs, which is awful, and just we met up with friends and had lunch and we've just been sitting here chatting. It's been amazing. So. That's my first recommendation. Find a friend, have plastic surgery together. I just got back to my room post-op. I have no idea what time it is. They said that I was in surgery for almost four hours. Honestly, besides being exhausted, I feel pretty good. There is quite a bit of pain and tightness in my chest area, but my back feels great. I was anticipating not being able to lean or lay on my back at all and it actually feels really good. Most of the pressure and pain is right around my chest area. I am on a ice chip diet until I'm cleared for liquid diets and then solid food. So overall, I, I feel pretty decent considering major surgery that I have. Just really, really tired. Uh, when I was getting wheeled back up to my room, they had pulled Amy out of surgery. So she's down in the recovery room for just a little bit longer. Um, so I have the room to myself and checked in with Troy and I feel like I'm probably just going to take a nap. I also asked about coffee, so I'm waiting to see uh, what the results of that are. She said, basically said, don't hold your breath. So we'll see. Coffee may have to wait until tomorrow. So no Amy yet. And it is almost 4 p.m. I upgraded to liquids. So I started with the ice and then she brought me some jello and whatever this juice is, it's like a peach mango is absolutely incredible. And I guess we can eat about six. I'm just kind of anxiously waiting for Amy to get back in the room, but I'll tell you that overall, I feel pretty good considering I'm sore, but it's mainly like my chest area and not on my back at all, which I thought that just laying on my back would be painful. It's not terrible at all. And so I feel really blessed, but I'm wondering if some of this extra pain is going to kick in a little bit later. I'm just really, really tired. We got chicken noodle soup, hot tea, this really good juice. This is the different flavor than the peach one that we had. It's so good. We have a jello and then we have like a little fruit yogurt parfait. So that is our dinner post-op. Amy's back with me. Made it. Folks, the juice. <laughs> yeah. Addiction. Yes. Mango, pineapple-y, but not a smoothie. Oh, 
By the way, the food here has been amazing yeah. for hospital food. We had chicken salad. We had soup today. So really good. good. And we've had the best care. Oh, in the the parfait. Oh, yeah. The fruit parfait oh, with like yogurt parfait. and granola. So, Delish. So good. But Amy's yeah. doing good. She can't get up. Can't get up. Um, I got a catheter. And she, yeah, time she's for a catheter. Baby. And I can't get up without we'll assistance. You know. Yeah, we'll let you know how the catheter thing goes. Yeah. You, may, you may hear me scream from where you're at right now. <laughs> I do. Here are my drains. They just emptied them. I only have two. You can't really see Amy's, but she has three. Yeah, three. hers look really, really good too. Two? Yep, they and come three. in like every couple hours and empty them out. So they look good though. They, they're the right colors of what we're looking for. So I'm in the recovery house. This is my room. Amy is literally right there through that door. And this is where I'll be for the next few days. We had her open up the slider because there's an amazing ocean view right outside my window. Not really a bad place to be recovering for the next few days. So I'm in the recovery house, in bed, relaxing. I'm just exhausted, just doing anything taking a shower, to getting dressed, to walking into the recovery house. It's all very exhausting. <laughs> Everything just wears you out really, really quickly. I have to say that my back is fantastic, but my breasts are really, really sore. Like it's like really tight and really sore, especially where the drains come out. I didn't think I was gonna have drains and now I have drains. So where those come out, it's really, really tender and sore. So yeah. Hopefully I can get a little bit of rest and sleep off some of it. I feel like every day it should get better and better, which is really great. And the Wi-Fi is out here, so there's no TV or anything. So I'm just enjoying the ocean view and probably going to take a nap. And I feel like we'll be due for some pain pills here in a little while. It's now it's like I'm starting to feel more of the pain for some reason. Still not unbearable, better than I expected, but just that like tightness. We have homemade chicken noodle soup for dinner at the recovery house. It's amazing. I think this is lemonade water. They are very lovely here. So this is what we're having for lunch. It's incredibly delicious. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see, but look how swollen I am. That is all massive, massive swelling. And it goes all the way around to your, towards my armpit. Whew, it is very painful, very like throbbing, throbbing sore. They say that it's normal, so I'm rolling with it, but I'm telling you, this side is just super, super swollen and really, really, really sore. My back feels great. It's just this area. All right, day two of recovery, I think. Day three, I don't really know. We came to the recovery house yesterday, so yeah, I guess day three. I had a horrible night. It was probably the worst night that I've ever had. I could not get comfortable. I have tons and tons of pain in my chest area, across my back, it just laying down. My upper back would just throb and ache. In fact, my whole body is achy. I'm swollen, my hands. Wow, it was way worse than I ever anticipated it to be. I mean, I think I maybe slept an hour or two, just kind of on and off. All I have to say is that this better get better as these days go on because I literally said to myself last night, I can't do this for several more days. It's absolutely painful and miserable. I'm hoping that I start to feel maybe a little bit better today and that I actually get some sleep tonight. I just had some fruit for breakfast and then I have some Arnica tea here, which is good for swelling and pain. Can't have caffeine for about a week, so tea it is. And really, I don't have much of an appetite. I'm just really, really, really sore and swollen. I don't know if you guys can see, but it is like so swollen and sore and tight. So I'll try to hop back on later and, and give you guys another update. Night two post-op, I am beat. Everything hurts. My stomach hurts, my butt hurts. My face hurts. I just hurt all over. This is way, way harder all of a sudden than it ever has been. As soon as I put the faha on, oh, it's so tight. The pressure is just intense. And it also made my drains pick up and uh, put a lot more out through those drains ever since I had the faha on. 
So I'm calling it an early night. Still don't regret the decision though. So update for you, it's about 9 a.m. and I had the most amazing pain medicine about 4 a.m. I feel like a whole new woman today than I did last night. Last night, like I said, was the worst night of my entire life. It was the most pain I've ever been in. So this particular pain medicine, the nurse here called and got me a prescription. It'll be here in an hour. I can take it every 12 hours. Within 30 minutes of taking that at four o'clock this morning, I felt so much better. So I'm really, really, really hoping that this is that turning point where I have good pain medication that makes me feel better. I can sleep through the night tonight. I've been working on my computer. I'm really feeling a lot better. I mean, I'm really, really sore still, but it is literally a night and day difference. So I'm so, so grateful. So we just had a little snack out on the balcony by the ocean. We had some cheese and crackers, which was great. I'm really trying to get my protein in. I guess we're having fish for dinner tonight. So that is fantastic. I just got my little heavy duty pain pill about a half of an hour ago. So I'm hoping that that kicks in and I can get a good night's sleep tonight. I did take about an hour nap this afternoon, a couple of hour naps, which has been really good. And then we've just been relaxing. I've been watching YouTube. Unfortunately, the Wi-Fi at the recovery house isn't working. It's actually not working for the entire neighborhood. So thank God for YouTube on my phone. But I'm doing a little bit. I am definitely, definitely doing much better today. Still sore, still a little bit of discomfort, but overall so much better than I've done the last couple of days. So I'm really thankful for that. Look at this amazing dinner. I'm so excited. It's protein packed. We've got fish, rice, veggies, and then I'm having some Arnica tea, which helps with swelling and bloating. I'm telling you, the food has been really good. Good morning. Day four, officially day four of recovery. I slept so, so good last night. I was up on and off just readjusting, but overall I slept amazing which was incredible because as we know I didn't sleep or crap the night before I'm feeling pretty good I still have a little bit of pressure and soreness things are still swollen and awkward looking I'm really really happy about that they just brought us breakfast so omelet and some potatoes water it looks really really good we had some fruit with some yogurt this morning too it's morning three um I actually feel really good I have a ton of pressure in my butt cheeks and the, I wouldn't call it pain, it's just pressure. It feels like I fell down on the ice or something. It feels like I fell down on my butt. Um, and then in the front, my stomach on either side of my belly button is really tender, but the more I rub it, the better it feels. Um, I didn't take any pain medications overnight. <clears throat> I had a, a decent night's sleep. I feel good. I definitely can't wait to get a shower today. Um, this is definitely way, 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 way harder than I expected, but it will totally be worth it in the end. It's a really nice morning or day, I should say, out here. Super, super, super nice. This poor dog down here barks all day because his owner just leaves him in this dirt pit all day. It's really sad but it's an absolutely beautiful day. So Amy just got moved. We were side-by-side -side rooms and I guess they double booked her room. And so they moved her to a floor below me, which is a little bit of a bummer, um, but we're still gonna get together for meals and things like that. But now I'm gonna have new people right next to me. Luckily, my room has an ensuite, so I have my own bathroom attached to my room. So that's really nice, but I'm sad that they moved her a whole floor. Luckily, we got to spend most of the recovery time side by side in rooms. I have been really focused on water. I have quite a headache. I think it's a mix between one of the pain medications that I take and the fact that I'm not allowed to have caffeine. So I haven't had any caffeine. I actually can't have ca caffeine for about a week post-op. So I think it's a mix of those two things. And I've just had this awful headache and I'm really tired just fatigued, exhausted, which I think is just my body healing and recovering. Even though I slept really well last night, I still feel like I'm gonna take a nap today and just really spend the day just relaxing and recuperating. And like I said, I'm pretty sore and still a little bit uncomfortable. So we are going to take photos today and send them to the doctor. They do wanna see updated photos every three days from us on our progress so they can kind of see how things are going. And that way, if there's any issue, they can kind of correct that or get us 
into the hospital if need be. And then of course I go in and see the doctor again for a follow-up on Monday before I fly out. So I'm really glad that I chose to stay in a recovery house number one where there's 24 hour care. I could not imagine being in a hotel right now and not having meals prepared for me, medications given to me, nurses available. I, I could not even imagine that. So I highly recommend a recovery house for sure, I'm staying at Casa by Linda. If you do come this way, that would be my recommendation. It's been amazing. And I'm also glad that I took several days to recover before flying home. Even though I have a pretty short flight, I cannot even imagine being on an airplane right now. So this was a really good decision overall to stay in the recovery house for several days post-op. It's about 5.30 p.m. We had a little charcuterie board snack. I've been down in Amy's room. It's so weird that she is on a different floor than me now. In fact, my new neighbors in the room that Amy was in, she ended up having to go back to the hospital, I guess. She wasn't feeling very well. So that room's actually empty tonight. So that's good. I was wondering if they were going to be loud or if that would affect my sleep. So I'm actually not mad about having this whole floor to myself. They're making dinner for us right now. My friend Kate is actually getting married tonight. So I'm going to log into the live stream of her wedding and I'm doing pretty well. We did take some pictures uh, to send to the doctor. They want us to send pictures every three days to see kind of how things are progressing. So we did Amy's pictures and my pictures, and then she sprayed down all of my incisions with a spray that for that basically helps with infection. So everything looks really good. I mean, I'm super, super swollen. I told Amy I look like SpongeBob because my fig, my body is just a square from all the swelling, but I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm still very tired. Like I've slept multiple times today. I really feel like I could pretty much sleep on and off all day, which I know is just my body recuperating. But as the days go on, it gets a little bit better. So I want to basically hop on, give you guys an update before dinner. So I wanted to show you guys, first of all, I did end up with two drains and I want to show you how swollen I am. Obviously, I don't have all those kind of rolls on my back, but I am like super, super, super swollen, just my body in general, including like my torso area is very much like boxy. You can see just how swollen I am. It's crazy to me that just my whole body is all swelled up and we have to wear the compression socks for seven days. So actually we'll wear them on the airplane home and then be able to take them off on Wednesday. But I just had to share that it's just crazy just how everything just swells, even parts of your body that didn't have any type of procedure. Good morning, it is day five. I am feeling pretty good this morning. I actually slept pretty good last night. I had a little bit of discomfort. What I find is that the top of my back where no procedure was done, sometimes it's achy and a little throbby when I sleep. Last night, the issue was the actual incision across my back. Depending on how I laid, it was a little bit sore and uncomfortable. So I kind of tossed and turned a little bit last night. The pain medication definitely, definitely helped me get to sleep and stay asleep. I would say that overall, I still had a pretty good night. I am still as swollen as I have been the last few days. We're waiting to hear back from the doctor. They actually sent pictures to the doctor yesterday of both of us so that they could review them. So I'm hoping to hear back on that today. And then today is actually my final full day here in the recovery house. I actually go for my follow-up doctor's appointment tomorrow morning before I fly home tomorrow afternoon. I actually leave here around 3 p.m. One thing I will say that has been super frustrating is I showed you guys, I think in a previous clip, that there's a dog across the street. That dog barks nonstop. And last night, it was outside barking from 8 p.m. to almost 10 p.m. So I actually called the owner of the, the recovery house that I'm staying in and we've got to figure something out. That dog kept me up super late last night. So I think that that was part of it too, is that I just was annoyed about the dog and couldn't get to sleep. And then of course I start my cycle. So it's just been, it's been a lot, but I'm feeling overall really good, more human like today. I've been pretty hungry, which explains my cycle starting. I'm usually hungry leading up to that. So the food here has been amazing. The care here has been amazing. I'll show you guys, I'll flip you around. I'm gonna make my protein coffee that I have. I'm actually not allowed to have caffeine for about two weeks post-op. I guess it can interfere with the medication. So I use decaf coffee, but it's interesting how I have to concoct my protein 
and coffee, which helps me get in my protein. I've still been focused on that during recovery, especially is really just getting in my protein. So one other thing I wanted to mention is that I don't, let me show you. So I don't have a lot in my drains any longer. And these drains have actually been not emptied since last night. I think at like eight o'clock. So that's pretty good for coming at what's coming out of my drains. I'm hoping that I can get them removed tomorrow before I head home. So overall things are going well. I'm feeling pretty good. Every day seems to get a little bit better, which is exactly how it should be. And overall it's been even better than I expected. Good morning. It's day five. Um, I almost feel human today. I slept like a log last night. I think that part of the reason that it changed for me is the BBL pillow they gave me. It definitely has been a game changer. Um, it's a little difficult to get into because it's enormous, but they're great to help me. So definitely pro tip, get the good quality BBL pillow. Um, like I said, I almost feel human. I slept. I think almost six hours last night. That's the most I've slept in like the whole entire time. So um, yeah, morning five, I feel really good. Um, I'm having the little yogurt and fruit bowl, which has like become an awesome favorite. Um, I do have a little bit of pain in my backside still and my drains have significantly decreased. I have three drains, one still producing quite a bit of fluid, but again, still all is well. There is one new um, thing that's happening right down low on my abdomen near my incision. I have a spot where they did my muscle repair that every time I get up, it burns and takes my breath away. But they say it's perfectly normal. When we took off my Faha yesterday and got my shower, the skin looks perfect. There's no redness, there's no irritation. I have very little bruising, which is crazy. I thought I'd be bruised, I have very little. Um, but we got to have pictures and see my results. And I have to tell you, I am so excited. I cannot wait for time to pass to see what I like my end results look like. So again, hardest thing I've ever done. I won't change my mind on that, but I'm so excited. I would not have not done it. Best decision ever. Okay, so for my coffee, I, <laughs> I have her bring me a big craft of water, of ice, and then a big craft of water. And then this is actually decaf coffee, like instant coffee, that's all they have. They don't have other coffee here. So what I do is mix the decaf coffee in a glass with some water, pour it in the ice, add my protein shake. So I'll show you guys what it looks like. So I can add as much of the decaf as I want for the right coffee flavor and then I just pour this into this craft and I actually just mix everything together in the craft. Then I mix it and stir it and then pour it into my glass and just drink it out of my glass. You know what? It's not a bad alternative considering and it really helps me get in my protein and I still feel like I get my protein coffee in the morning even though it's instant and it's decaf. So I just woke up from a, another nap. Really all I do is sleep. And I just wanted to show you guys that I'm still, you can see pretty swollen my back. My drains look really good. Most of the liquid coming out of them now is pretty clear. Just everything is just still really, really, really swollen, especially this left boob. There is like a huge lump of swelling. I still don't understand how that's normal, but everybody says that it is. I don't even know if you can see it but it's like right here is just really 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 swollen it's not painful there's just a lot of pressure like it feels like someone's on the inside just pushing on my chest and the only really discomfort that i have is my incision on, on my back and then the sides here where the drains come out that's a little bit uncomfortable but Overall, I mean, considering everything, I'm, I'm pretty comfortable. I'm about to head down to see Amy and then have some lunch. So I'm heading to bed. It is my final night. I actually fly home in the morning. I'm feeling pretty good other than a tiny bit of discomfort and I'm exhausted. I did a little research into the stronger pain medication that they've been giving me twice a day. And one of the main side effects is fatigue and exhaustion. So I think that's why I've been just 
so tired. I mean, I could sleep most of the day. And I, like I said, I'm napping several times a day. So I decided not to take my 4 a.m. pain pill so that hopefully I am not so exhausted tomorrow because I have a busy day between a follow-up doctor's appointment, my flight home, getting to the airport, getting home. It's going to be a really busy day and I'm going to be exhausted just from that. I'm hoping by skipping the 4 a.m. pill that I won't be as tired tomorrow. I'll have my medication with me if I need it and I'll be getting a pain pill at 10 p.m. tonight and a pain pill at 6 a.m. tomorrow morning. Just not the really heavy duty one that leads to exhaustion apparently because my friend Amy is nowhere near as tired as I am. So I really think it has to do with that pain pill. It's about 8.30 p.m. So I'm heading to bed so that I can get up and like kind of pack and stuff in the morning tomorrow and be ready to go. I should be being picked up at about 9 a.m. to go to my follow-up appointment at 9.45. And then my flight doesn't leave until 3, but we don't know how long it's going to take for us to get across the border. It could take half an hour. It could take two hours. We do get to take the medical tourism lane, so it's a little bit faster, but we need to allow for plenty of time to make it across the border. And then I'll be at the airport for, it depends, one to three hours. My friend Rachel, though, is probably going to be at the airport at the same time. So I may actually get to see her and hang out with her while I'm waiting for my flight. So I'm ready to go home. I am feeling good enough that I can fly home and just kind of ready to get to my own bed. I miss my dogs. I miss Troy. I just kind of want to get back to normal. So I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning. Day six and time to go home day. I actually got up this morning, put some makeup on for the first time since I've been here. Amy went ahead and braided my hair for me just to keep it out of my face while traveling and it needs a wash, obviously. I already told Troy he has to help me wash my hair because I can't put my hands up really any higher than shoulder length. So he's gonna have to help me wash my hair, but I actually feel really good today. I think putting on makeup and just kind of getting back to normal has really helped. Putting on regular clothes, uh, I just had my drains empty. They actually are really good. I think they'll be able to come out no problem today. Put on some leggings, some normal some normal shoes, and just basically getting back to feeling normal. I'm a little nervous about the doctor's appointment only because I haven't seen everything yet. They should be taking off bandages, tape, hopefully taking out my drains, fingers crossed that those are coming out. I definitely don't want to travel home with those. I know that it's going to be maybe not painful, but uncomfortable. So I'm not looking forward to that, but I am looking forward to this being kind of the final step of everything. They are giving us some breakfast. So we're about to eat some breakfast because I won't get anything else to eat until I get to the airport. And then I'm going to have a good food, good meal at the airport. I haven't had a lot to eat since I've been here. Small portions, which is great. And just kind of multiple times throughout the day just to help with the healing process, but I'm ready for some real food. And I'm also nervous, but excited to see, you know, how everything looks at the doctor and to get their final perspective on how I'm healing and kind of what to expect and anticipate when I get home. So you can see that my suitcase is packed and ready to go. I am not able to carry it. So I'm going to kind of zip it up and then they'll come and grab it. I made my backpack really light for the trip home. I scheduled a wheelchair at the airport. So I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready to go. I am going to most likely have to sit at the border for a while, uh, crossing in the medical tourism lane. So I plan on doing a little more filming today, maybe to kind of take you guys along with me the last leg of the journey going from Tijuana to San Diego to home. Overall, this experience has been really, really great. From start to finish, I'm really not seeing the true results of everything yet that I had done my back or my or my boobs yet but overall this has been just a really good experience so I'm going to finish packing up my driver will be here in about a half of an hour to pick me up to take me over to the hospital for that final doctor follow-up good morning it's day six I am feeling amazing every day I feel better I don't have any pain I haven't had pain for days I do have discomfort it's difficult from my 360 tell me talk to and my BBL to get myself out of bed. So I still need help to get out of bed every day. Um, I can get into bed fine myself. Going to the bathroom is fine. I really can, I can do a lot more. Um, I probably took laps around the kitchen today. Uh, I'm sorry, yesterday. I took probably 10 or 15 laps, so. I'd say that's maybe 
I don't know, a couple thousand steps. So um, I did sit out at the kitchen table a little while yesterday for about two, two and a half hours on my BBL pillow without a problem. It felt so nice to almost feel human again. Um, John and I ate dinner at the table. We spent a little time in a little seating area out on the balcony. Um, Jen does go home today, which I'm sad about, but I'm so excited. She has been instrumental in my recovery. It's, I'm telling you, if you're going to have plastic surgery, find a bestie that you're okay with being naked with, that is okay if you have gas and she hears it. Find a friend because you have each other no matter what. It definitely um, was instrumental in this recovery period. Um, so day six, starting off awesome. I'm gonna have myself a little uh, fruit and yogurt parfait and work on some college now that we have Wi-Fi. So I'm at the airport and I have a wheelchair. However, the situation is, is that I can walk just fine. The problem is, is that I can't carry my backpack. So I have to basically push the wheelchair around the airport so that it can hold my backpack. So I had to push it into the bathroom. I had to push it over to get some food. I can't really take it to a restaurant. So I was stuck having like a sandwich thing. I only ate half of it. I'd like a protein shake or some decaf coffee, but I can't lift the backpack back into the wheelchair. I'm, I'm currently sitting in the wheelchair. So this is a little bit of a pain. I actually asked if I could leave my backpack at the Southwest counter. And then I could just walk around and the guy told me no. So maybe I should ask someone else, but it's been a little bit of a pain, not gonna lie. My flight board's here in about an hour. I'm tired. I'm a little uncomfortable. Just, I can't really lean against the back of the wheelchair because of my incision. So yeah, it's, it's not the most comfortable. And I still have my drains because I still had fluid in my back that needed to drain. So I have to wear the drains home and then find somebody to remove them at home. They said Troy could do it. I'm like, yeah, that's funny. She actually said that I could do it myself. And I thought that was even more funny. That's not gonna happen. So I'm a little uncomfortable and just exhausted from just traveling over the border to the airport, waiting for the wheelchair. It's just, it's a lot more than I've done since surgery. So I'm hoping that the flight goes smoothly and I may have to get in a second opinion on this whole wheelchair backpack situation. Well, hello, I am officially home. Like I said, last night was a little bit rough. I don't know if it was the removal of the tape off of my incision on my back especially, but I was pretty sore last night. I was having a really hard time getting comfortable in my bed. I tried so many different pillows, so many different situations and I woke up several times in the night with kind of a pain throbbing in my back so I had to get up and reposition I can't move my body with my upper body so if I need to scoot back or scoot forward I actually have to stand up and then get back into bed so I did that several times last night I ended up taking one of my really strong pain pills before bed and took a Tylenol in the middle of the night. And I would say that I got maybe four or five hours of sleep. I got up this morning and grabbed a couple of pillows and came out in the living room and have been sitting on the couch. And this definitely, definitely feels better on my back. I don't know about if I'm able to push it back to sleep on the couch or even potentially sleep in the recliner over there. But that may be what I have to do for a little while until I'm actually able to comfortably sleep in the bed. It was, it honestly was a pretty rough night, but I did get up this morning and take a shower, which felt amazing. And we changed all the gauze under my bra, my support garment. There's gauze over all of my incisions just to prevent rubbing on my clothes. And then also just to prevent any type of infection or anything from happening. I would say that my boobs look the same, my back looks the same, my back looks pretty bad, not gonna lie with the tape off the incision. It's just, it looks really painful. And like I said, it hasn't been painful up until we took off the tape. And I don't know if that act alone, I'm not really sure, but I'm really hoping to, again, turn the corner and be in a little bit less pain. I'm still really tired, which is to be expected. 
especially with not getting a full night of sleep. So I'm gonna be spending most of the day here on the couch, just kind of relaxing. Amy's doing really well. Also, side note, I weighed myself when I got home last night and I was up about four pounds on the scale, which is to be expected. Number one, I'm super swollen. I look like SpongeBob, like my torso is a square instead of like a girly figure. And on top of that, I have my, my cycle. So I'm not surprised to be up. That eventually will go away. They didn't remove tons of pounds off of my back. And then I have implants. So the weight loss from the surgery is probably nothing just based on the implants being put in after the skin on my back was removed. So we'll see kind of what the scale says as time progresses. But I wanted to hop on and basically end out this surgery vlog. If you have any questions, definitely leave them down in the comments. I'll keep you guys posted on my recovery, both on my Facebook group, on Instagram, and then in future videos like weigh-in videos and what I eat the days and then of course once I am more recovered and the swelling has gone down to almost normal I'll of course be sharing a lot of before and after pictures but I hope you enjoyed the vlog kind of coming along with me for the surgery like I said the experience overall was fantastic the hospital in Tijuana was amazing the recovery house was Okay, there was a little bit of a language barrier with some of the nurses, and there was literally a dog that barked nonstop. That was very frustrating, and the traffic was noise was really loud. So those two things I could have done without. I wish, in hindsight, I was in the other recovery house that they own because I guess there was no traffic, no dogs, and really just ocean sounds that you hear is what one of the ladies told me that I went to my follow-up appointment with. So in hindsight, I wish it was that house, but honestly, overall, the experience was a 10 out of 10 and I would not have ever went anywhere else for my plastic surgery. I have complete follow-up care with them as long as I need. I have to text her pictures every three days, text the doctor anytime I have questions. So I feel like the care even after the surgery is absolutely amazing. So overall, it was a great experience and I can't wait to heal and be back to my old self.